Okay. Oh, nothing is cooperating today. <laughs> hey everybody, CR Media Gal here. Welcome back to my channel. I got another Shein haul to share with you guys. And I have to say, for the first time, I actually really don't have many complaints. Everything pretty much worked out. This is mainly a winter haul because it is January. Spring is still a couple months off, at least here in Pennsylvania. We're not anywhere close to spring. But that being said, some of these pieces could be nice transitional pieces into spring and even into summer. If you're curious to see what I recently picked up from Shein, then keep on watching. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Andrea, also known as CR Media Gal in the fandom and fanfiction world. I do a lot of different content on this channel, including plus size fashion, lifestyle, and and fandom related videos. So if any of that interests you at all, please be sure to click the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Also, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I'd really appreciate it. it supports my tiny channel and encourages me to uh, keep pumping out content. Be sure to also follow me on my other social medias. Come and say hi to me there. For instance, I'm always posting on my Instagram, so be sure to check that out if you wanna see me styling some of the pieces that I show in my videos. Let's get into this, because I have quite a substantial haul this time. So I ordered all of these pieces back in, I believe it was on December 12th. It's January 15th as of the time that I filmed this video and these pieces just came today. For a while there, I didn't think I was gonna have a haul to share with you guys because I assumed that this package got lost. Thankfully, it did turn up because even with the Shein code, I spent quite a bit of money. So for reference, as a plus size person, I tend to be a large to an extra large or even a size 14 on top. It all depends on the brand. On the bottom, I'm a true 1XL or a 16. I'm going to start with something that is a bit Halloween related. I know the spooky season is over, but you know what? I'm a firm believer that you can be witchy all year round. Okay, there is no time limit. And I had been eyeing this on Shein's website probably since September. And it is this Sanderson Witch Museum sweater. The material is super thin, so I hesitate to even call it a sweater, sweatshirt, I guess. If this came in a bunch of different colors, I'm not sure if it's still available on their website. If it is, I will try to link it down below as long as any of these other pieces. But I went for the black. It just says here in this white font, Sanderson Witch Museum established 1693 home of the black flame candle hocus pocus is my favorite halloween movie it, you know it's hocus pocus without being like super in your face which i love if you want to go back and watch my fall and halloween clothing haul from a few months back i did buy another hocus pocus shirt and that one which was also kind of subtle i do wish it was maybe a little bit thicker but it's fine i can layer it up before i bought this i happened to be watching shannon miller here on youtube she's one of my favorites and we tend to be about the same size and she had bought this in the size i was planning to buy it in and she recommended going up a size so that's what i did because i wanted it to be oversized so i got this in a 3xl you can't go across the board with your normal sizing, you have to look at the individual measurements. So I'm glad I sized up to a 3XL because it so happens it's a little bit oversized, but I wish it was even more oversized. It grabs a little bit around my waist area. I tend to carry most of my weight in my belly, so not very surprising. Still, it works just fine. Next is a piece that is sort of that Fair Isle Nordic style that I've been really, really loving. And it is this sweater, absolutely beautiful in this like brown, beige and green color. This feels so soft. It has these really pretty green trees in it. It's also on the sleeve and on the back, the same pattern on both sides. It's more on the crop style, but like it comes below the belly button, so it's not too cropped. It's rather stretchy, which is good. The quality of this is really nice. I was pleasantly surprised considering it's Shein. I got this in a 1XL, probably could have even gone down to um, the 0XL and been fine in this. So you can likely get your normal size. It's a great piece for Christmas, but also for the following winter months too. Really, really like this. They had this, I believe, in a lot of different sizes. I decided to go for this really pretty, like, 
light mauve color. It almost looks beige in some lighting, so it kind of plays tricks with your eyes, but it's this super, super soft lettuce trim mock neck. It's also lettuce trimming, sort of, not as noticeable on the sleeves and on the bottom. It's incredibly stretchy, but um, I'm really glad I went with my normal size on this. I believe I got it in a 1XL. I can't tell you offhand because oddly enough, uh, it has no tagging on the inside, which is kind of weird, but I guess it doesn't matter what side you put this on. It's nice and long too, so it's great for layering and tucking it in to jeans or trousers or a skirt, or you can wear it long if you choose. I would definitely tuck this in. It's not too see-through either. I was a little bit worried about that because I did buy a similar turtleneck crop style from Shein a couple months ago, and that turned out to be way too see-through. I just didn't like it at all. This feels like much nicer quality. Again, super, super comfy. Love this. Next is a piece that I've actually seen a lot of different YouTubers and Instagrammers wearing. So I decided to give it a try, but in a color that I hadn't seen too many people wearing. And it is this very, very cropped, very loose knit off the shoulder sweater. Like I said, very cropped, comes to about the belly button. Can wear it on your shoulders, but I find the neck is so wide that it just naturally drops off of the shoulder. So in the try-on portion, I had to pull my bra strap down, but I definitely need to invest in a strapless bra. But anyways, rant aside, it has nice big balloon sleeves, which I love. Very, very soft, grayish blue, beige, and there's like little bits of almost like mustard yellow in there. It came in a lot of different colors. I don't have a whole lot of blue in my wardrobe, so I thought, I would give this a go. However, I was just about to say this, it snags very easily. It just caught on my uh, ring. And that's the only thing with this sweater. The knitting is so loose. I feel like the moment it catches on anything, whether it catches on your jewelry or on your cat or on a doorknob, like I feel like this is just gonna fall apart. A bit of a worry, so I'm gonna be very, very careful with this. I can't find a tag for this, so I'll pop it on the screen for you. This is nice for winter as long as you're layering it up, but also for, you know, spring when it gets a little bit nicer out here in Pennsylvania. I think with a pair of like mom jeans or high-waisted jeans, these will be perfect. The only other thing I am noticing now about that sweater that I hadn't noticed before is it sheds a little bit. I'm a little less impressed now, but I'm still gonna wear it. Next is another sort of basic layering piece. It's this really pretty, a very stretchy sweatshirt. It, I think on camera it's gonna look brown, but it's more of a mixture of a dark gray and a brown. It has a bunch of buttons here. The only thing I'm not completely sold on, and I think it's a little bit weird, is there's no button at the top here. There's no closure there. So like when you have the buttons all done up, it kind of makes this V shape, but there's none of that gapping in between, which I, of course, always worry about. I got this in a 2XL. Now, it's incredibly stretchy, so I probably could have gone down to a 1XL, but I feel like I probably would have been pretty tight on my arms. As is, it's tight, but it's like form-fitting versus like beam constricting. You know what I mean? This is super long too, so you can easily tuck it in and switch this up any way you want. They had this in a ton of colors too half tempted to get some more. Next was a bit of a gamble because one of the things I consistently run in with with Sheen is that the material reflects the pricing. So it's very often very thin material, but I've been eyeing up a whole bunch of their dresses and some of them are so cute. So I decided to buy a sweater dress because I've wanted to try a sweater dress for a while. I don't have any in my wardrobe. I thought, well, I'll try a cheap version from Shein and see how it goes. I opted for an off-white loose knit design. It's really pretty. Obviously it doesn't have much shape to it. So you'll see in the try on, I threw on a belt with it, which was how I envisioned myself wearing this. And surprisingly, it's not too see-through. That was a bit of a relief. I think I would have to wear a cami because in the try on portion, you can see my white bra through this. Like I said, I expected this to be too see-through to get away with, but I think I'm gonna manage just fine. And it's a great length too, right around the knees. I mean, you can wear these with tights, you can go bare legs with them if you really, really want to, and some high knee boots. 
I'm really satisfied with how this turned out for it being my first dress option from Shein. Again, this doesn't have a tag on it. So I will pop on the screen what size I got. It's super, super cute. I love anything with a funky sleeve kind of detail. And it just so happens, I believe it was actually Shannon Miller again, who I was watching, who happened to buy this. And I had had this in my cart already. So I thought, oh, worked out for her. So I'm gonna pick up one for myself. So it is this really pretty white puffy shoulder uh, sweatshirt. Comes below the belly button, but I'd say this is like a medium crop length. So you can still tuck it into things. And it's got quarter length sleeves. I got this in a 1XL. Worked out really well. I'd say it's definitely form fitting, which is what I like. If you want it to be a lot more roomy, but still be a little bit form fitting, then I would say size up. Definitely don't think I could go down to a 0XL, however. I think that would have been too tight on my arms. But I love these really cute puffy sleeves. That's so in right now. So this was like a no brainer to add to my cart. And then I just paired it with a pinafore dress. I love pinafores. I love overalls. I guess I love uh, dressing like I'm 12, but I'm shameless about it. I don't care. I love a good pinafore dress. They've got so many options on Shein's website. I find it often very difficult to pick and then I end up not picking one at all. But this time I decided to get this really pretty black and floral design. It's a very, very thin material. Corduroy, but it's not true corduroy, if you know what I mean. But it's nice and lightweight that I think for spring or even summer, you could get away with this. It's above the knee length. It's got a very pretty cut. It's a little bit longer in the back. Got a real pocket along the chest. It does have a zipper to get you into it. And I found I did have to use the zipper to get it over my hips. I got this in a 2XL. And the only minor issue I had in the try-on portion is the straps are not quite right. However, they do have the option to adjust. And I adjusted this one a little bit and it worked. So I think as long as I'm super careful, I can finagle with the straps to sit right on my shoulders. But everywhere else, it fits fine, including in the chest area. I'm big chested. If you're smaller chested, you might want to size down because there is a little bit of stretch in this. Not a lot, but there's enough that I think you could size down if you're smaller chested. I love this. I think this is adorable. This was a great find. Really excited to wear this in the spring. For anybody who's been here a while, you know that sometimes my style borders on grandma-esque very kitschy like. So I couldn't resist this cardigan when I saw it on Shein's website. It's this very loose knitted off-white cardigan with four turtle shell buttons. But as you can see, it's very like open. The knitting is very loose. So I feel like this is one that again, it could easily catch on stuff and fall apart. So I'm gonna have to be super careful with it. But what really sold me was the ruffled wrist and hem detailing. I just think that is so cute and so pretty. And this again is very versatile. So I'll be able to wear this with jeans, wear it with trousers, a skirt, and I can transfer this into springtime and even summer too, because it's very lightweight. This I got in a 1XL. So I'd say you could probably get your normal size. I probably could have gone, a, gone with a 0XL in this and been fine, but I erred on the side of caution and love it. Lastly, I thought I'd throw in two accessories that I bought from Shein as well. When we entered quarantine, I was still getting my nails professionally done. So I had to take my time getting those nails off and letting my nails grow out and get stronger before I could start painting them myself. I've been wanting to try Shein's artificial nails for a while. So I just bought this dark forest green pair because Dark forest green is one of my favorite colors. I'm also a Slytherin, so. So I'm gonna test these out and we'll see if they're any good. This was also open and fell apart, but I thought this was kind of worth trying. It's like these little, it's called curve for natural nails and you stick them around your nail and it's supposed to help with when you're painting your nails. I'm right-handed, so I can do fine with my left hand, but my right hand, when I'm painting with my left, always looks like it was done by my five-year-old nephew. So I just figured I'd give these a try. I think I only paid like a buck for them. So if they don't work out, not the end of the world. 
guys, that is my massive winter she and haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below and let me know which of these you liked most on me. I'd be curious to know. Again, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe below if this is your first time here and you'd like to see more of this kind of content from me. I'm sure it won't be long before I have another Shein haul for you guys. The pricing is so cheap, it's kind of addicting. It can be very hit or miss, but I guess that's part of the fun for some of us. <laughs> Be sure, again, to go follow me on my other social medias as well. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye. This place is a mess. Oh my god, I can't talk. I've repeated myself multiple times. Oh, I can't forget these. Oh god, oh god. Catching again. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What is it? Now I gotta find room for all this stuff. No more shopping for you for a while, Andrea. She says that and it'll last for like three days.